gets really excited for the first time it snows in New England and then it sucks. So for all of you who have just moved here and you think it's really magical, you're in for a really big surprise. It's not, it's horrible. But on the other side, my friend Powen, he just bought another E36. Powen already owns two E36s. One is a turbo E36 convertible, kind of a bizarro car, but it's super fun. And then he has a 318 Ti that he was building into like a rally car or something. But the 318 is wasting away. So he found a decent chassis that barely runs. So he's gonna swap all the driveline and stuff into that car, but we gotta go pick it up in Plymouth. I have no idea if this car is gonna actually make it back. It's leaking coolant at an alarming rate. We're either gonna get it home in one piece or it's gonna end up on a flatbed. Won't you join us? How is this a good idea? Hey, how's it going? Nice camera. Um. <laughs> It's the black edition prop. Yeah. So oh. basically, this is a 1995 uh, BMW 308i. It has a blown head gasket, um, but the reason why it well it blew upon previous owner purchasing it, they didn't know. We're gonna kind of jerry rig it to kind of get it limping home. I have no idea whether or not using any sort of gasket sealer in a BMW four cylinder is gonna work. Some people have reported it, it works on these six cylinders, but my main concern is literally overheating the engine to the point where everything is warped. Yeah, we, we, we don't know if it's gonna make it home. Uh, hopefully uh, AAA can help us, and if not, maybe David, David, please, David, would, would you please help I'm, us, David? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, you mentioned David, and I was like, oh, thank God. We have a secondary option. The way I wanted this to go was, I would have put some fresh oil in, get a filter, and then like drain all the fluids out and just flush it all out. Like, that's the ideal situation. But we're an hour away, and I don't feel like spending an entire day doing a flush. So what's the power method? Let's give so us the rundown. The quick power method is to try and hope that Bars Leaks sealant lives up to its name. So we're going to be using the actual coolant um, stuff, which has this like copper compound, which I guess as it heats up, it's designed to flow into the cracks and fill it. I have used this once before in my old Volvo S70. RIP to that car. Wasn't because of the head gasket, but I have used it successfully before and it does seal it up nicely and supposedly the more you drive it, the more it seals because now you have the liquid actual seal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think it's going to work. Blah, Put blah, it in blah, the blah, engine. Blah, blah. It's not going to work. <laughs> People are pretty racist to you on YouTube, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's someone, someone literally said the other day that my editing skills turned a pale white Asian to a suntanned Latin porn star. Word verbatim. That's bizarrely and it's been complimentary. Resonating with me ever since. <laughs> oh, that's so <laughs> fucked. Ooh, that's so gross looking. Should I have shaken it first? Probably. Yeah. We well, treated this like less than a Sobe energy drink. <laughs> now to double this duty. Alright, so now this is, is the about. oil stuff. Yeah, so it works with all okay. engine oil transmission. Leaks usually leak stops in 200 miles. Great, because we gotta drive 50. Some fresh oil for you, buds. Super glue. Mm. Bars, you should sponsor us. That's like so depressing if that's who's sponsoring you. I know, right? Oh, let's let's get you home. <laughs> what else do You ready? I guess. The old girl's idling, but she's blowing quite a bit of smoke. Hopefully the sealant in both the cooling system and the oil system uh, blocks any cracks in gaskets or even the block. It's definitely quite a bit of smoke coming out of the tailpipe. We're not sure this is getting home. <laughs> They're filming this like, thank God some idiot bought this car. <laughs> We've got to get 78 miles in this thing and hopefully it doesn't blow up already pretty bad. I don't know if we're gonna make it. <laughs> we haven't even gotten out of the friggin' neighborhood yet. That's right, once the thermostat ticks over and your copper stuff goes through, maybe that'll help? Maybe. Four, this is two. bad. Hope oh, starting to overheat. Yeah. Oh, we're overheating, we're overheating, we're gonna cut it. That's a lot of smoke. <laughs> it's not great. So, 
What kind of dinner are you gonna take David out to? <laughs> Whatever he wants. <laughs> and then some. <laughs> I do not trust this car. This is gonna blow up on the highway 100%. We haven't even made it out of the neighborhood that the car was bought from, and uh, I've already been on the phone with David. He's gonna take a drive down with the Raptor and the trailer and come do some recon rescue work. It's getting pretty dark out, and David's on his way, thank God. It really pays to have friends, sorry for the engine noise behind me. It really has, pays to have friends who have a trailer and a truck. So once again, thank you so much, David and Ren Scott. We're also starving. David to the rescue. You doing? Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out to this man right here. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 